guys, I want to share with you the cost of doing soil tests here in Lake Lagos. You know, it's not my profession, so I am not going to talk much. I am going to allow our geotechnical engineer. He's going to explain, expose, and reveal everything that you need to know when it comes to the actual cost of doing soil tests here in Lake Lagos, Nigeria. So without further delay, guys, sit back, relax. If I eh, share this video to those you know who want to start construction here in this axis so that they will not be scam, all right? Let's jump straight and have a chat with the engineer here in Lake Lagos, Nigeria. Let's go. So guys, this is um, Gina Shea. Hi, engineer. I'm good. All right. Now, please tell us. Our viewers want to know about the cost. But before we dive into the cost, what exactly, can you give us an overview? What exactly is all of this soil test about? Your technical investigation is a way of um, you know, understanding the, the, the strength of the support of your building. What do I mean? The ground is the support of whatever building you want to erect or whatever civil structure and it is a very important aspect of any building uh, construction if the support is not strong enough to withstand the load or the weight of your building then your building is subject to defaults or defects like sinking full sinking partial sinking cracking and the building collapse like you know is being reported around us recently now for you to be able to know the the strength of that ground that is going to support your building that is the purpose of a geotechnical investigation so a geotechnical investigation is you know probing downward into the ground to look for a layer that has the strength that is capable of withstanding the load of your building so we drill down and then when we get to a stable formation some other processes are carried out samples are taken to the laboratory for further analysis to be able to have a comprehensive understanding of even that subsurface you know you are not there but you take it out and then you analyze them in the laboratory from that you'll be able to have an understanding of the we call it geotechnical property of that layer which translates to you know the bearing capacity of that layer with respect to the uh the structure that you want to build so that is basically what the geopolitical investigation is about all right thank you very much sir now a lot of people are always asking that why is it really composite to do all of these tests you know in those days our parents used to build house they didn't carry all of this uh, kind of thing okay. why is it really compulsory right now uh, it is a uh, very compulsory i mean look around you buildings are cracking buildings are collapsing buildings are sinking you go yeah. to some areas you know even around lagos you see a whole building is already inside the ground so that is enough uh, reason for you to understand the importance of carrying out a geotechnical investigation if a proper geotechnical investigation has been carried out those risks would have been mitigated so and if it is not carried out properly as well you are susceptible to you know experiencing those uh, risks you can't just determine that the ground can support your building all right so by looking at it okay so thank you very much now like how many hours or how long does it take you to complete this a, a project hmm. uh, it varies it varies and uh, it is dependent on the formation itself okay some places you know they take a shorter time let's say within two hours to three hours that is for the site work itself okay and some can go as far as two days three days depending on you know the depth that you get to before encountering a stable formation that can carry your building all right engineer we see water where you are working right now where your workers are working i see a lot of water okay. with my natural eye now i feel like this place will need a piling will i be correct if i suggest that no you are not <laughs> correct sir. why uh it can need piling and it may not need piling okay that is the reason why we are carrying out this uh, investigation for this place uh you can put into consideration the nature of the building let's say they want to erect uh, a five-story building here okay it might need piling okay might but might need piling all right let's say a duplex want to be constructed which is just a two floor that is the ground floor and then the one suspended it may not need a piling all right so, and let me note some places even if you want to instruct a, a erect a bungalow you might even need to pile it so it is dependent on the the, the the ground deformation and what the result of your geotechnical investigation tells you okay so the, what you are doing right now does it involve laboratory analysis does it involve calculation sheet like um uh, just tell us what and what is involved how do you determine this the, the, the formation 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I said. Yeah. Uh, uh, a geotechnical investigation is in, let me say, three phases. Okay. There is the site work, there is the laboratory analysis, and then there is the desktop review. Deck what? Desktop review. Desktop review, okay. So what we are doing now is the is the site investigation, which involves, you know, the CPT and the SPT. Okay. The CPT has already been done. This is the SPT. This is the machine that, you know, uh, we use in a probing down and then samples are taken. So when the samples are taken, and meanwhile, there is the site observation too. As we drill, we are able to tell that, okay, we have been able to encounter a strong, uh, a stable formation. Samples are taken as we drill down at interval, beginning from the top downwards, we are able to get a stable formation. Samples are taken, and that is the site work. Then these samples are taken to the laboratory. They are analyzed, and uh, different analysis is, you know, is carried out on, on those uh, samples. And then the desktop will review too. I mean, there, there have been previous tests done around this area. There has been a, a general study of the geology of this area, so which will be compared even to what has been found out on this exact spot. These are the information that will be compiled in the reports. All right, and Gina, just before we go into the course, because I know many of our viewers actually want to know about the course. You know, just like I was discussing with you earlier, a lot of uh, places like all those uh, that has those red, uh, you know, mud, those red soil now, mm. do they have to also do soil tests? A geotechnical investigation is very important. Okay. Even though a place is looking like it is strong, yeah. you don't know what is underlying it. Okay. The surface may be strong, but the strength may be resting on a softer you know, formation under it. Okay. And when you put your building on that one that you think is strong, you see your building, you know, All right. or cracking because oh. they the softer layer underneath it. I'm using a layman language <laughs> so that uh, our viewers will learn. So let's blow the bubble, engineer. How much yeah. will it cost us to do one of these sweat tests here in Lekki, Lagos? Here in Lekki, Lagos. Lekki is quite uh, big and uh, the cost of your soil test is dependent on a lot of factors. But the cost range between 300,000 even to 1 million Naira, depending on the, 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 the formation of the place the area itself and then there are different uh machineries that are being used okay you know, it is dependent on the consultant or your your advisor who is going to say okay this is the kind of equipment that will be suitable for this area okay so there are some equipment that cannot go further down or how yes yeah, there are some equipment that cannot go beyond certain depths all right some areas due to that depth touch review that i mentioned yes some areas we understand that they don't really go beyond a particular depth on rare occasions we carry out soil tests in those areas and we realize that this place is a peculiar we have such occurrences where you know we test a place and it is it is different from you know what has been noticed around so further probing will have to be done all right so what you are saying right now is around 300 to what one million naira okay it all depends depending on the size of the plot and the kind of machinery that is going to be used are different uh, kinds of a uh, machinery this is just a shell and auger uh and operated uh, drilling uh, machine we, we have the mechanical ones the hydraulic ones and the likes all right used for soil test engineer shey thank you very much thank you for taking your time in your busy schedule to share your thought with us thank you it's a pleasure sir uh, all right bye